OK, so this is the food processor. It's my baby. I'm really proud of it. Uh, I use this every single day, all the time. It's the biggest investment in the tools range, but it's worth every single penny. And I'll tell you why, because it does so much. So out it sits in my kitchen. That's why the shape was important to me. I really wanted to make it beautiful, but really importantly, simple. I don't want a million buttons. I don't want it. I'm a chef, but I want simplicity and power. So we've got a thousand watt engine in here. Very, very good quality. We've got suction feet on the bottom. So if it's kind of vibrating a bit, depending on what you're doing, it's holding well. The other thing is like the look and feel to me. I wanted it to be really sleek, really kind of beautiful and clean and fresh. You know, at the same time, I wanted to introduce some colour. So we've got the gorgeous cornflower blue, which I love. And you've also got that onto the wire as well, which is really, really nice. And by the way, that wire, you can pull it out and you can push it back in and lose it. So it's quite cool. Uh, we've got a whole array of optional extras. I wanted to make sure that you had everything that you needed, but I wanted to be clever about getting it as small as possible at the same time. So let's have a look at this slicer. You can see it's nice and thick, well made. Uh, we've got the very sharp blade here and basically what I've done instead of having two or three or reversible blades what I wanted to do was have one that had multiple thicknesses so you can go from nice and thick all the way down to wafer wafer thin then we've got our graters here good old-fashioned turnover method so we've got the large blade here and then on the other side we have the thinner one here they're very sharp What's great about this is I've kind of shaped the cutter so it is a grater and it will grate things beautifully uh, but also it's like a julienne cutter so you get lovely strands of things like carrots and, and mouli and, and anything hard and crunchy you'll get beautiful stuff that you can use in stir fries in salads and what's really good about this is because I've made the whole bowl bigger this surface area here is bigger than our competitors so therefore more holes strong engine it's actually quicker at grating veggies and stuff per kilo uh, than anything else on the market that certainly I've seen. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Then we get onto the juicer. For me, it's a Saturday morning, a little bit more time spent in breakfast. You know, you get some nice blood oranges, some grapefruits coming in. So some juice happening, uh, very, very cool. And then there's the two beautiful balloon whisks. Now, I've never been a massive fan of whisks on food processors, I have to say. Uh, so I wanted it to be strong and powerful, uh, and I was very, very fussy. And in actual fact, uh, when we tested this, um, I gave it to my pastry chef in the restaurants to test it, and he was blown away. And i tell you why. Because it doesn't just spin independently. Each balloon whisk spins as it's spinning. So it's literally like being on a fairground, and those eggs don't know what's happened to them. So... Again, really, really proficient, makes the most fantastic meringues. Um, really very, very cool. Then we come over to some more conventional stuff here. So we start with the conventional blade. Um, you know, it does what it says on the tin, it slices stuff. Um, but we wanted to sort of have another option here as well. We've got a serrated blade that sits right next to it. Now, the reason for this is that if you want to make ice creams or smash, you know, ice into snow to make lovely granitas, then having that extra serrated edge uh, is absolutely essential. And then last but not least, the plastic uh, hook, perfect for pastry, short crust pastry, pasta. Again, very easy. A few other little features that I love. We've got some measuring uh, sort of amounts, milliliters up the side here, but not just there. Also, the chuck, where you put the stuff in, we wanted it to be two tiered. So, you know, we've got the big hole there that you can whack stuff down, rattle it through, rattle it through, but say something like chilies. If you kind of put chilies in here, they're rattling, rattling all around, it's not very precise. You start getting two chilies and rattling down there and you get beautiful little shaves, like a, like a sushi chef has done it. And I've got one new addition to the family here. This I've been working on for six months. It's called the flavour grinder. I use this a lot. Things like spices, really good for rubs, delicate rubs or complex rubs. You just crack it open, rack up your spices, toast them off if you want, put them in, put this back in, grind them up to a powder, or you can pulse it to any kind of texture that you like. Uh, but I've been experimenting with whole chickpeas to make chickpea flour, rice to make rice flour for little batters and pancakes. There's loads of stuff you can do. You play with it yourself. So what it is, it's very simple, uh, and it's not kind of delicate and you know, sort of precise and sharp. Actually, this is like robust power. We've got four quite blunt, uh, very strong serrated blades here. Uh, and it can take some battering. Uh, it's pretty simple. This is great to have in the cupboard. Of course, you can dishwash it as usual. Click it on, and you can go to uh, the first gear, 
go, 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 go. You know, if it's things that are a bit bigger, you go on that. Full whack. Really, you can hear it's really powerful, really strong. And when you click it off, you hear that. Zoop. And I love that. Uh, a brilliant safety feature across all of the blades. The minute you click it off, you know, it doesn't just turn it off and it's still going around. Nice and safe. Love it. So really proud of that. Lots of options. And as you can see, this is the big one in the range. It does so many things. I, 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 don't, I wouldn't want to live without it. It's as simple as that. So there you go, guys. I hope you found that really, really useful. I'm really proud of it. Uh, just recently, we got some brilliant recognition uh, in, the, in the British press. The independent newspaper voted it best food processor, number one, which is exactly what I wanted. You know, something beautiful, something powerful, something precise, and something really good value. So take care. I hope this has been useful. All the best.